everybody, so tonight in Taiwan, I am here at the Rongke Night Market. So this place is absolutely beautiful and I feel like this is the number one tourist night market because it has a whole bunch of Michelin stars. Um, it's not as big as, as the Suling Night Market, but it has a lot, like a lot of vendors as well. And this one is like a little more organized in terms of like uh, where you're supposed to go. There's two lines one going that way and one coming this way so it's a little bit organized that way and it's absolutely beautiful this street life is popping you can see all the lanterns there's also a little temple over here which is very beautiful and i love this iconic sign everybody knows the raw hood night market now so i'm going to take you along the way and i'm also going to be doing a thousand uh, dollar challenge today so uh, not usd not usd um which a thousand dollar taiwanese money which will buy you a lot of food so right here let me show you a thousand dollar NTD to see how much food um, I can eat with this. So without further ado, let's go check it out. You can see them making it fresh in front here. This is the Fuzo black pepper bun. This is the filling they hand make it. It looks so good. A lot of green onions going in and I love green onions. Oh, he's actually teaching. We got a trainee here. He's teaching him how to make it. That's cute. Oh, look at all that meat. Yes. And into the pot it goes and after it's finished cooking. Oh, look at that. It's so cute. Right there you see it's mission already. We're going to get two of these. So this is 120 NTD. We're gonna start off strong with the Michelin rated stand. Here are the buns. Let's try it. It's so hot, actually. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Very nice, crispy bread. So it's piping hot. Do you see the steam coming off of it? Right there, it's so good. I do wish that I have a little bit of sauce to go with this, but not bad. I do admit though, um, Siling also has um, the same place as Celsius, and I like theirs a little bit better. There's a little bit more filling, a little bit more flavor, and more juicy. Mm. That's good, regardless. I love it. I just really wish they served it with the sauce. Mm. We're going down the line, we got fried squid. I feel like I want a drink. I want to find a drink somewhere. There's a whole bunch of sit-down. Oh, they even have, I think that's takoyaki. Oh, how pretty. Oh my God, I want to get some takoyaki. Look at that. Oh, so like, there's like different flavors too. There's uh, original flavor, seaweed, cheese, mustard, spicy curry, plum, and pepper salt. Okay, let's try some of this. All right, guys, next stand. I, you know, I love these street food beef too because like it has such a like fast food vibe, but it tastes so good, but they make the food so fast. All right, here it is. This is how it looks like. Here we go. I really like the flavor. So, I asked for both spicy powder and salt and pepper. And this was only 65 yen, too. So so hot but it's so good <laughs> so you see what i'm talking about right this line is all going there and that line is all going coming this way we got sweet potato balls here oh we even got a place selling like wagyu meat there's like a uh, steak these are actually pretty expensive and it's just like there's so much korean barbecue available at um at california i don't think these are really worth it but these are definitely one of my favorite things. This is a barbecue chicken wrap, and this is very um, unique. 
juicy chicken meat rolls. I'm gonna get four of them. This one actually has a really long line, but you know what? It'll be totally worth it. This one's really popular, and I feel like it's one of those unique uh, little local dishes that not many people talk about. So I really wanna try it and show you guys. Yeah, the flavor here, but yeah, look at those. Those look so juicy. Oh my god. To flavor my barbecue pork sausage with the spice powder. Look at that. And then the salt and pepper. Oh, that looks good. Awesome. Four of them for like five dollars is actually so good. Let's try this out. Oh. Mm. Woo. Wow. Mm. The casing is wrapped in chicken skin. This is so, so juicy. Mm. So literally imagine the sausage, but chicken. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh, yeah. Well, I could eat so many of these. They're actually so good, it's just so hot. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This place sells black pork sausage. This entire thing is only $2.50, which is like $7. That's crazy. Look at that. The entire thing. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that. Black pork sausage. That's so cute. This wow. is so good. The meat is so freaking juicy. Mm. Mm. I think it has some spicy sauce. I'm gonna add some. Okay, let's try this. With a little bit spicy. Mmm. Yeah. My rice is so good. Mmm. This is only two fifty NTD. Alright guys, clam and corn box. That's interesting. Dude, that big sausage is seriously so juicy too. They also of course have um, games. You can play that. I actually love playing those. Okay. More of the uh, steak over here. Also, if you guys ever need like stuff, you can get really cheap stuff at Taiwan. I actually hustled earlier this week and I actually got a deal on some of the stuff I wanted to buy. I'm so proud of myself. Well, this one has a long line actually. What are all these people wait, lining up for? Maybe, is it this? Oh no, it's not even that. What are they lining up for? They're lining up for this. What is this? This is interesting. Oh, this is like a pancake. They're lining for a dessert. How interesting. Smells good, but I'm not that crazy enough to line up all that for a pancake. I'm not that crazy about sweets. These are really common too, sweet, deep fried sweet potato balls. Ooh, look at all this. Wow, all these fried stuff. Wow, oh, got fruits over there. Octopus balls, more of the takoyaki. Oh, look at that. These takoyaki look so good. Those are big octopuses. Or actually, it's octopi. Floral is octopi. Ooh, they even got donuts. That actually looks so good. I'm not in the mood for sweets yet, so. Ooh, look at this. Wait, what is this English even? Plurotis erinigi. I have no idea what that is, but it looks like deep fried mushrooms. How much is this? Oh, there's different flavors too. Nori, honey, mustard, Thai. Oh yeah, these are the big oyster mushrooms. How cool. But here, teppanyaki is also really popular in Taiwan. People love the show. Look at that, so many vegetables. Okay. Going down, we got some of this cheese corn dogs. That looks good. Those are actually really huge. Wow. Oh, freshly bladdered. More drinks. Ooh, soft shell crab. Look at that. This is fried chicken. This is classic Taiwanese fried chicken. Gotta try some of this. Ooh, look at that. Fresh and fried, batter going in. No one? One, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Different sizes. One, a small order is 100, big, medium. 
medium is 200, then large order is 300. We're gonna get the medium, which is 200 NTD. Look at that. He's flavoring it now. Ooh, look at that. Look at that seasoning. Ooh, nice. Nice and seasoned. Wow. And then some spicy. Nice. Guys, let's try it out. Mm, feels so good. Freshly fried. It's gonna burn my mouth, but I don't care. Mm. Oh. That Taiwanese popcorn chicken is perfectly crispy. And this is so well seasoned. I told the boss to season a little bit more for me. Oh, Moving mm. down the line, dude. I'm not even halfway across the first line yet. That's how big, how many vendors there are. I told you it's not like the biggest, but it's just like a lot of vendors, one after the other. It's crazy. I haven't seen this one before. This one's like little mini red bean pancakes. Mmm. I also smell stinky tofu. I love stinky tofu. Ooh, this one's soup. It's always so fun just to like look at everything. Drinks over here. Oh, this one is this one like a Taiwan pizza? Huh, oh, that's so cute. I haven't seen that before either, but I'm not, I don't know if that's gonna taste good. I wanna taste the stuff I really like. These are some fish balls. Got gifts on this side. We, we got a lot of these sit down restaurants too. Oh, this place has like desserts. Oh, these are good. It's nice too because since this place has become so touristy, there is a lot of like English. So it's really easy. Oh, look at that. Wow. That looks good. Ooh, barbecue skewers here. Nice. Oh, they even have soy milk for sale. That's cute. This place. Oh, it's another place selling a big fried chicken. There's a lot of crab. I'm also here on a weekday, so pro tip, probably don't go here on a weekend because you see how the line is actually flowing? It, it, it actually goes on for a little bit. So if this was all crowded, it's so hard and it's so hot. Because you have all like the uh, body of heat near you. Oh, more sausages here. Yeah, sauce, Taiwanese sausages are very, very popular. Also, another thing is their orange juice here is so good. They mix it with a little bit of lime and it's just so refreshing and not too sweet. See, they, the orange juice is almost sold out. Orange juice is so popular here. Fresh tea. This is a really cute stand. I think the stand is so cute. What is this? German pork knuckle. Oh my god, those are freaking huge. Look at the size of those. Wow, good. Pan fried buns, freshly wrapped. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, this line looks crazy. This is pork belly. There's a huge line for this. Oh my god, that should look so good. This is the uh, pork belly. Let's try this. It comes with a side of onions. Oh wow! Mm. I've actually never had this item. Oh my god. The hop is like a chicharron. It's marinated or seasoned so well. It has that like Chinese barbecue flavor. It's very, very good. 
Mm. Wow. So we're finally reaching the end of this line that's going this way. So we're going to circle all around and even out this line too. There's a whole bunch of vendors on the street. So there is so much different food you can find here. It's I've came here to Rahu like I think like seven times now and I don't think I still I still haven't tried like half the things yet. So that's insane. So this is the uh this is the other side, other end of the Rahu. See look there's more stands out here as well. And then let's enter from this side and see what uh, stands are over here. This way you guys, seeing more food. I love these lanterns. These lanterns are so pretty. And then a lot more stuff. Oh, I love the smell of incense too. Got a little, oh. This is so cool. Ooh, we got some dumplings. You guys know I love dumplings. A little soup dumplings. Soup dumplings are so popular in Taiwan. Oh, another teppayaki spot. I told you, teppayaki. They love teppayaki out here. Okay. And then we got some soups. Oh, this. We're gonna end it with some dessert. This is Taiwanese ice cream. Dude, look at that. Looks good. So we're gonna try out this Taiwanese ice cream. This is the the way she's making it is actually so unique. That's like a massive peanut block. And she's like scraping it into like little peanut powder and putting it as like a topping for the ice cream. That's so cool. This is um, ice cream very, very unique. It's the fact they put cilantro on top. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, that you can ask for no uh, cilantro as well. That's totally fine. So before she puts that off, she always asks, would you like cilantro on top? And I honestly like it with cilantro. It actually somewhat works in its own weird way. So that was super fun. Raho Night Market, always a pleasure. We went a little bit over budget, but it's okay. It's whatever. We ate a lot of food. Mm. Seriously, this grows on you. <laughs> I didn't like it when I first had it, but the more I eat it, the more I like the uh, cilantro ice cream. So definitely try that and try all the other stuff or, you know, just come in and explore yourself. There is so much delicious stuff in there. You'll never get sick of food to eat. It's always such a variety. So yeah, definitely check that place out and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more vlogs from Taiwan and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. So this is the uh, barbecue chicken. Let's go buy this. chicken skin mm -hmm. and literally imagine a sausage texture but chicken and it's so juicy oh, wow. mm.